There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys, just a bunch of bullshit. Welcome to Sleepy Cast! I am Corey Spaskin. Whoa. Corey. And my, t t to my right is Chris. And to my left is Niall. White. Whoa, you're 90s and <laughs> No, no, voice. no, no. <laughs> Holy shit, Corey. You, you, that, that's like a talent. How do you do that? You're like the guy who's like, you know that song? It's like, uh, now to the left. It's like not to the right. Well, it's like oh, when yeah. you're, it's like when you're a kid and, and you're like, do you see a giant dinosaur? You just, what? <laughs> Wait, that's you, not make, you make fucking sound effects when you were a kid to oh, like instrument yeah. like giant things. Oh yeah, yeah. Can, like, we, like, giant can we actually talk about? You brought up a good idea for a topic. When did you guys stop playing with toys? Oh shit! Actually, when I started really getting into playing with toys was a Toy Story. Really? Yeah. Because oh. they had like adventures, and I'm like, oh, how could they have like a bunch of toys from the '50s, and I have a bunch of like shitty toys I got at McDonald's. I used to oh yeah. Wait, what? I used to play with my little uh, Matchbox cars, and then I played with like my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, but Chris, Matchbox. Yeah. I don't recall. Chris, you have a wide selection of toys with you at the age of 24. <laughs> they're not toys. Yeah, yeah, wide okay. selection. Oh, they're figurines. What what age does the line blur between yeah, toys actually and figurines? Figure. They're not toys. They're fucking statues. But if you gave them to a five-year-old, they'd be toys. No, they wouldn't. They would I, take I, it I would fucking not give them to a five-year-old because they would break. <laughs> You'd fucking smash it on the wooden floor. I, okay, I will be the first head. to admit that I fucking think toys are cool, right? Yeah, toys yeah, are no, cool. No, but I'm just saying, hypothetically, like, if a mom bought the same figurines that you have for a five-year-old. She wouldn't, though, because they're like $100. Oh, they really? choke on the hair pieces and fucking well, die. Are, but, um, kind of the reason I brought up you, the, now? the reason I brought up the topic is because I remember the day I stopped playing with it, and it was a sad day, because I used to play with toys like crazy. Well, why, why did you put your foot down and be like, I'm not playing with toys anymore, I'm a grown man? I was fucking, like, 13 or 14. <laughs> I fucking got home from the dentist, and I, and I, I was really pissed off because my mouth hurt, and I went in, I picked up my toy, and I was like, yeah, and my, my, my like, my mouth, like, sagged down and I couldn't do it right, and I got really, like, embarrassed and I never played with toys again. I actually stopped playing so with weird. toys and then I started to smash my toys. I went through a phrase where I, bleh, I went through a phase where I started to get toys just to break them. I would never smash a toy. You go through you go weird phases. I, I can, you know, I'm one of those people. <laughs> and I went through weird phases where I had toys and then, you know, like, you fucking stretch Armstrongs that are full of like poisonous like liquids and shit. <laughs> you used to put plasters on it when they cut, and it don't work. Yeah, that was I, shit. I, I used to like. I was like, oh fucking, you can't rip them. I would like jump on. I would like hang from like the side <laughs> of my fucking like stairs, like a like I'm like climbing a mountain, and I they fucking rip, and I fall. No on my shit, back. they're made guys, of fucking crap, dude. What? You guys have severe cases of the odds. Oh, uh, as 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 listen, they say, as the jocks have. Brought it out of the woodwork. Yeah, the, the, the jo new the, term is aughts. Yeah, the, the jocks. The jocks. Uh, the, they, they call. They call you fucking I don't know if, I don't know if they coined. I don't know if they coined it. No, they're. They, is this real? No, they pull. They pull You're your lying. pants. The jocks. Yeah, they say the it. The jocks, they, when they got a hold of you. Yeah, like, like you know the aughts. Hey, called. nice aughts. They'd empty your pockets, uh, give you a wedgie, and give you a swirly, and then call you an aughts and a girly. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's fucking aughts. So you, you're calling me an aughts because I like toys? No, no, no. no. Okay, I'm so, calling both of you aughts because both so of you have. To you said when I stopped playing with toys. Mm -hmm. Well, I stopped playing with toys around like when I started to get into video games. Right. And I've, I've always been into like I got into toys and video games at the same time. I had a Sega Genesis. It was around like it was a Mega Drive where I came from though. I had like action figures. I stopped playing with actual like fucking toys and I started collecting like Marvel action figures and Dragon Ball Z action figures <laughs> yeah. and I create stories with them that way. Man. But I all my fucking like shitty McDonald's toys and stuff I got at Goodwill. I fucking broke Wait, you got shit McDonald's toys at Goodwill? How poor were you? I, am I was pretty poor. Corey, I'm Whoa. furious. That I didn't get to play with Dragon Ball when I was younger because I didn't even like Dragon Ball when I was younger. I fucking I got a Dragon Ball when I was 21, dude. And then I bought a million statues. And I'm dude, like, I missed I, out on the coolest <laughs> battles of dude, my I bought a childhood. I bought a fucking like. You I was so obsessed with Dragon Ball Z at one point, I would just say, if it was Dragon Ball Z related, I would fucking have it. It doesn't matter. If it was like the, I had these like fucking glow in the dark gold Goku figurines that were like the shittiest plastic on earth, mm. and looking at them alone would fucking smash them, and I bought them, and they were like $18. When I first saw Dragon Ball Z for the first time when I was like 21, I think, 
I was all I, I could think about was how I used to imagine my toys fighting in the exact same way that Goku would yeah. fight. I was like, how the fuck did I miss this? Yeah, like all the kids were doing the energy ball thing where they're like with their hands. And no, like but I used to literally have like connects men, and I'd like make him fly through the sky and fucking smash the shit out of each other in my mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when I saw Dragon Ball for the first time, I was like, this is how I used to think when I was younger. And the same with Final Fantasy Advent Children. I was like, whoa, this is just how I used to imagine myself playing with toys. I oh, used yeah. to. I, I came in a phase where I stopped kind of playing with toys, and I started making my own characters, yeah. and I fucking shit you not, my original, like, Your Dragon OC? Ball, yeah, my OC, yeah. Of, official, uh, fucking, I think I was like 12 or, or like 13 year old, um, Dragon Ball Z characters, were, were yeller and redder, guess what color their hair was? Brown. Yeller. Red was red, and yellow was yellow, his name was fucking yeller and redder. <laughs> Did you and come then, up with that yourself? And then, and then, after we got we we got rid of those fucking characters because they were gay. They then were we made gay. then we made Spence and Tekken. And Tekken, <laughs> it was the same concept. Did well, you just see the Tekken game and say <laughs> no? Tekken? I, Tekken the game. I've heard the name Tekken. I didn't even know it was a fighting game. I just I thought the name was cool. And Spencer is a cool name. Spence. So it's like Spence and Tekken. Dude, and Spence then, is like the name of a fucking Degrassi like and, high school no, shit. No, and, and then I, we got rid of that name. And then I made another character called, um, uh, like, Guy and Usher. This is before Usher was a thing. What the fuck, So Corey? before we start pulling out... <laughs> That's before like we start really, pulling really, out really the stats, <laughs> I had an overactive imagination in severe aughts when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback, in case you don't, don't remember. That's, like, almost as gay as, like, when I played for Kadia when I was, like, 12, and I had a character on it called Shammy Red White. Listen, that's oh, red and white. Tell us for Kadia stories. That's you fucking tell it? gay. You've never... Okay. What? No, no, I know. Your for Kadia story is good, but I don't know if you told it on the podcast. Was it the I was banned from the yeah. UV high school. One? No, that you thought it was just oh, like for Katia. Yeah, you, the, Chris thought it was like oh cool. It's, it's oh, yeah. like a little chat room. No, no, this is what happened. Right, I met and some chick on for Katia. Really? Yeah. Did you fuck? We online dated. Ooh. And then I lost my phone. I didn't talk to her for two months. <laughs> Why are you guys? <laughs> the date broke. Wait. Why do you guys question me when I talk about your aughts? Like the pair no. of you. Like, okay, okay. Honestly. For Katia, this is what for Katia is. <laughs> for Katia is an online chat room for furries where you play, you create your own antra and the for lorefic antra. Anthropomorphics. You, you, you make your own cat or your dog or your dragon Ant or whatever, and then you walk around and you talk to other furries. But when I was like, I think probably less than 11, I went over to my friend's house and his brother was playing for Katie, and I was like, What is that? And he was like, yeah, uh, It's, it's not my chat room. And I was like, Whoa! <laughs> and then I went home and I didn't have internet until I was like 12 or 13. So when I got the internet, I was like, I got for Katie. <laughs> Yay! And I downloaded it and then, uh, I installed for Kadia, and I, uh, I'm now an un I'm unknown to me. I'm now a furry because I don't. All I thought it was was cool, cool no, you're cat, cats furry talking now. to dogs and shit. I was like, this is imaginative. So I walk around, and people are like, "Hey, you want a yiff?" And I'm like, "What the, what the heck does that mean?" And they're like, <laughs> "Oh, well, I'll show you what it means." And then, and then, then they do the star, and it's like, dude, "Star oh, yeah, fucks yeah. you." And dude, I'm like, whoa, you're yiffing me, dude. But wait, wait, wait. But this is this is where it all leads to, Corey. I want to hear the climax, but then I have stories. I had a I had a an infamous character called Bright Cloud, right? And <laughs> Bright he was, Cloud. He was a white wolf. And one time I, I went on for Kadia and I, I went into Yiffy High School. Tism. <laughs> I went to Yiffy High School and I didn't. Yiffy High this School. This was at the part I didn't even know what Yiff meant at I, this point. I met I met at fucking like Yellow Grove Fields. I didn't go to fucking Yiffy <laughs> High School. She was, like, she was like, meet me at the township. That's where we met. Well, up. Corey, you gotta listen. I went to wait, Yiffy. wait, wait. So you're saying like you you're when experience. I when I met her on for Kadia because yeah. I met her from another furry site for Affinity. Oh, yeah. She was drawing like fat human girls and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But she was she was cool. Okay. And and then we met and then it was like on went on for like like for Cadia, but I went to like like yeah, like Pharaoh Goat Fields or it was like a quest area. Yeah. I didn't go to Yiff Central. Well listen, I went to Yiffy High School, right? And the, the very cool this thing, sounds the cool thing about Yiffy High School is that when What's you it? enter, they change the graphics so that your little furries now have little balls and titties and stuff. So I was like <laughs> I was like, Holy fuck dude And then um now now at this point my little boy mind is running wild and I'm like so like this, I was still like unknown to what or like role playing and shit was. So this is a role play only place, dude. So I went into a classroom and I was like, I, like they made it so that they changed your lie down animation to you holding your dick in your hands on yeah. your knees, and I was like, what the fuck? And I started pressing like, the, you know, <laughs> full stop so that the animation changed because you're rotating. So he was like jerking off it in the middle like of class. Life. No, no, I know, right? But I was just a, like a little kid, and I was like, I'm like jerking off as a wolf. It's this like is sweet. Beta I, I, second life. I know, but then I went into a, <laughs> I went into all the classrooms. And I was like, 
Bright Cloud fucks himself on the like on the ground. And they're like, no, you can't only do that after class. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> and then they kicked me out. And then I started wandering around for Arcadia. And for some reason, he became like that character. Bright Cloud was like infamous for a few days because I was like seeing all these other characters. It was like a, a guy who was like, yo, I'm the job giver. I'll find anyone a job. And I was like, can you find me a job? He's like, I'm not giving you a job, Bright Cloud. I heard what you did at Yiffy High School. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? Uh, How did people even know that? Dude, that culture, like the whole role-playing culture, yeah. culture is like, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, um, I, before all this stuff, I was in the like, like second life because I always liked the idea of simulator games. Yeah. Uh, it is like a guilty pleasure, but I do enjoy simulator games. And I was like, oh, Second Life, that's a simulator game. It's I had not. no idea it was like this, like, fucking fur fest it's shit. It's fucking creepy. Like, I met, I, apparently, without my knowledge, I, my, I had a, I had like a fucking, a, a dragoness with two dicks, and she was my wife, apparently. <laughs> Completely against wait, my own will. Wait, wait, it has more dicks than you, and it's still your wife? It was a dragoness with two dicks, and then uh, she, <laughs> the I fucking, odds. I met her on, the odds, I met her on MSN Messenger, you know, back then, the good shit, and then she, she had a fucking picture of like a white cat on her shoulder, and she looked like one of those crazy cat ladies with hairstyle from the <laughs> 80s. Like, she looks like she had like, she just looked like something straight out of a fucking movie stereotype. Dude, that's funny. And then she was like, hey, baby, and I immediately signed off. I was so I was only, like, fucking, like, 16. Jeez. So I didn't know what to think. Th that culture, yeah. And Second Life, like, I know now it's even more creepy. Like, they can talk and shit. Back then, you could only type. Oh, yeah. Chris so and it I, was different. Chris and I recently uh, went back to Second Life, and Chris uh, walked into a church. Oh, yeah. And uh, we heard this guy giving a sermon, and he was just like... Uh, the Lord be with you. And we were like, oh, it's weird that they're just playing this clip here. Yeah. And then Chris just goes in and goes, hello! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the guy stopped talking. Yeah, he stopped and talking. He, I was like, wait a second. He's really doing a thing. Yeah. And then I was like, and then I like, I had my mixer connected to my PC and there was like reverb effects on it. So I turned on the, the church reverb and I was like, me les <laughs> And they were like, hey, could you stop please? We're trying to give a sermon. Take a seat. They were, they were like, take a seat. And I sat on a guy's lap. Yeah, and they were like, take another seat. And, and I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then Chris got kicked out. We have it actually all Dude, on video somewhere. I, I was I was gonna get into the thing like um so I was in a situation. This is where I stopped playing Second Life. Like I don't remember my old account, and I think they close it after like fucking yeah. years of not playing it. Yeah. I went on it. I had an account, and I went into like some fucking maze forest in the sky because they like create temples in the sky yeah. and shit. And it was a fucking like role playing sex room that you cannot leave. Whoa! If they 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 put your name in and you can't. Go anywhere wait, else. Wait, that's so much to fucking take in. You wait. can't. No, listen. At a, a maze. You can't. Something in the you sky. You can't leave the area if they put. If they make you their slave. So I couldn't fucking leave. <laughs> and so what ended up happening was I was trapped. Some guy claimed me, and he was like, maze? like he was trying to get me to like suck his dick. And I was just running around the maze. <laughs> I was looking at all these guys getting like, blown in gimp outfits. And then <laughs> fucking. Sweet, dude. <laughs> and then I. I a friend of mine came in who like made codes and like force shit and he came in and he spawned like all these like loud noises and then no. fucking, oh dude and he crashed the fucking dude, thing dude I forgot about that can I tell you something happened to me yeah, when you're yeah. done and he like pushed everyone into corners so the fucking thing like expanded and broke yeah. out and I got shoved out and the fucking server like died oh my god dude when I, I was uh I was doing the same shit as before I was walking around talking to people yeah. just, just being like hey faggot and then they'd be like <laughs> like you better step back or like I'm the mod of this area and I can do fucked up shit to you and I was like yeah, prove it. And then they fucking, they made it so, they coded it so that when they press a button, they start flying at you and knocking you all over the place, and like, you hear like these creepy like, noises every time they hit off you. Like, really shitty waves. But then they, they did another thing where it was like, they, they press a button, and then all these like, like, really shitty JPEGs of like poo, like a stream of it starts like coming out of the sky and flying towards your character, and starts going like, and, and like, like, it won't stop. Like, they, they like, they pretty much shame you. They're like, yeah, you're you're the poo stream now. <laughs> it's so weird. And did you feel dude, ashamed? Were you, dude, they, these I was like, I was did just, you run out crying? I was totally confused. I, the the sound that was playing was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like screaming. It was Not, ISIS, dude. <laughs> I just remember kind of like Second Life to a point where I. I, I did it, but then like my computer was already really shitty back then because I think I had like a gigabyte of fucking RAM <laughs> and Second Life was a horror with memory and it was like you come in I have like the lowest quality settings anyways, and it's still like a fucking Microsoft like slideshow Yeah, and so it's still like an unbearable mess and Yet I still tried to experience it and still try because it was like it was like fun. It was like, I, I like the simulators, but 
do people actually pay like tons of fucking money to own a house? Yeah, I know. And they freak out when you go on their yeah, property. They, they pay rent. Like they yeah, they pay, pay rent. rent. That was another thing. That's why it's so fun to go on their property and piss yeah. them off. Yeah. When I, when I was I was on Second Life like a few months ago, and I accidentally went into a, a room where it was like these five walls, and each wall was like buy this house, and I was like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> and I just I, I pressed T or Y or whatever, and was like, is anyone here? And then someone was like, yes, I'm the real estate agent. And I was like, do you do like talking? And she was like, yes. And she came over. And she was just like, would you like to buy a house? And I was just like, yes. She was like, how much are you willing to spend? And I was like, nothing. Like, and she was like, well, you can't do that. You got to spend real money. And like, they, they pretty much make you spend like, like, what is it? Like 50? It's almost like real rent almost. That's what I, like, I heard. It was actual real rent, like 400 a month or some shit. Yeah, and it was Yeah, just, was it's real like, rent. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I swear to fucking God. Dude, she has an actual I, job from doing that. I know. I was doing the same thing. Like, I was like, you know, I want to buy my own server and have, like, land and stuff because I, yeah. I want to enjoy the Second Life experience. And buying, like, fucking Second Life ca cash ish is, like, the most... Bullshit stuff ever. There's like old fat dying ladies with diabetes who do this for a li like that's all that they can do That's their only like bit of life that they're like wow. I'm fulfilled now But yeah, I don't understand much. how like people pay real rent have time to play second life all the fucking time Well, it's like, and that, pay, it's it's like that dying corpse ladies it's on like that shit. social welfare You know, oh, yeah. money. You know that makes sense. There was that fucking like game on Steam, I think, where people were paying like upwards to, like fifty grand to own an actual fucking spaceship. Oh, oh that's Eve, yeah. Yeah, and then people would come in and fucking demolish it and like destroy <laughs> their fifty thousand dollars and stuff. It's so mean, but why it's... would you? I mean, like realistically, why the fuck would you actually spend? So you can get the best 50, spaceship. In the yeah, world. but it's like if if griefing is an actual po probability. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're yeah. in space. Anything can fucking happen. I almost feel like though that's half the fucking thrill. It's like I guess yeah. I spent all my money on this. This is real. Pro this is real work that, that I could have. That yeah. could have went to a fucking house. That could have went to your own goddamn yacht. But no, you, you bought a, f a fucking face fake spaceship for the experience. Yeah. I bought a few polygons to, to have some fucking Minecraft Reddit asshole come in <laughs> and fucking write faggot all over your shit and destroy your building I, in two I seconds. I feel like though, like th those people that I don't, they, they don't spend like fifty grand at once. It must be like oh microtransactions over. No, a long yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. It's it's but like still, $100 it's like, for like a fucking it's like, coat dude, of Dude, you kind of deserve it, but also you can't blame them because like when me and I play like DayZ, when you spend like an hour getting your shit, then there's an actual real thrill yeah. of losing it. And yeah. you're like, I can't lose this. You have motivation yeah, to I stay alive. I can only alive. imagine how those guys feel. They probably kill themselves yeah. in drones. <laughs> like they all line up on a uh, fucking on wall. On a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> in the cliff and they like lemmings, they just walk off. They, they fucking like read off. No, I was saying that rights. there was one of those ships recently that got blown up, and the people who blew it up didn't even do it for any reason. They just did it because they saw a ship and were like, "Fuck that ship!" Exactly. It Anyone it's can kinda, come kinda in kinda and funny. just be an asshole and just yeah. grief. It's funny. That is a terrible game concept. You want? You don't want that. That's bullshit. Yeah, but the uh, like owners of the game are like like rolling in dosh. So there's like care. there's a lot of care. SoundCloud uh, files of like. Gil or I don't, I don't think they're called gills in that game or gills in that game, but they're like there are like Skype conversations of people like talking to each other after these like ships explode oh and my shit, God. and they're fucking screaming at each other. I mean, you they're would have to be furious because you basically invested like yeah. a good twelve years of your life into a fucking ship. Basically, but these guys are like at each other's throats. It's like that was your fault, you <laughs> fucking idiot. I think that game actually nearly is ten years old. Is it? Yeah, and there's people who are around from the start. I, I wouldn't doubt it that there 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 would be some fucking heads getting knocked over. Oh man, yeah. after. If, like, you knew where someone lived that griefed your house after destroying your official uh, internet spaceship, you you better fucking take your life and leave country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They already have nothing gotta... left. They If they risk their life on fucking 50 grand, do you really think they give a shit, like, about their own life? No, man. They're <laughs> bathing in their own filth. No doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't mean to talk shit about anyone that spent, like, 20 grand for something, but it's just like, I on. do. You're fucking that is, stupid. That's fucking insane. It's silly. That's nah, silly. well, whatever makes them happy. That's that's what... That's, that's well, like, there are people yeah, who spend... happy spend, until you get an opportunity where you get fucked. You could say that about anything. It's like, oh, yeah, well, I spent, like, in my lifetime, like... Four million dollars on beer, and I didn't even mm -hmm. realize it. There's like people yeah, spend money well, on shit that makes them happy. Yeah, but so. it, it's like marginal. But if you spend like fifty, because this game came out not too long ago, yeah. So it's it would have to be recent. You would have had to invest within the last few years. That's true. You would have had to like oh. I was going to college at one point, but I'm just going to blow it on um, this this fucking remake of a Star Trek ship, and then some asshole comes in and blows it up. <laughs> Corey, 
Here's a good topic. Okay. You recently went back to Missouri, or misery um, as you like to call yeah, it. Yeah, misery, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any stories? Corey's from Ferguson, Yeah, it's Missouri. weird. It's... I actually was there because it's in St. Louis. Ferguson. Oh, really? Yeah. St. Louis? Shit. But there was nothing happening because it was, it was fucking like zero below outside. But yeah, I went back to Missouri to see my old folks. And it's so weird to come back because it's been like two years since I've seen my family. And it's just like you remember... Like, you know, like, restaurants you go to that you thought were good restaurants, mm-hmm. but then you go back there from, like, being in, in Philly, and you go back, and you're just like, no, this is a fucking stank <laughs> shithole, and you don't enjoy it, you feel out of place as fuck, and then there's all these, like, crazy water people around you. Wait, wait, what does that water mean? Water people? Wait, wait, wait. This, it's a term my, it's a term my family made. But you just expected everybody else to know what that means? <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. Sounds like creepy swamp monsters. Yeah. All right, listen. People, mm. studio audience, water people. <laughs> water people is a term that my family made. My mom believes that the crazy amoeba water people in our area were created because they drank the water of the place that what we live in. What are you talking about? The water is tainted. The crazy amoeba water people? This is what my mom... My, we haven't drank... We, don't, we <laughs> only use the water <laughs> to bathe <laughs> and to wash shit in, but we don't drink it because like, it, it fucking like, festers in your body and changes you into water people. <laughs> And basically, what a water person is what are you, is it's it's you know you know that picture of that guy who's like chin is in his mouth and he's like looks like Popeye. Yeah, no, that no, old that old guy. That, like yeah, old that old pic- fuck that's eating his mouth. Oh, yeah, he's no. like Arr. that's what the water people look like. They're like these gross like redneck old people that can't talk. They're like rest out me no rain on. So it's kind of like the guy from um, King of the Hill. Oh, that guy. But there's all variants of them. So there's like there's children water people and, and fucking animal water people like there's all different animal, can you, animal water people. Can you like see a water person and be like, yeah, that's a water person. Yeah, you can pick him out. You can I, pick out a normal guy over there and a water how, person. How though? Because they walk weird, they sound weird, they look weird. Like tell me. And they they fucking try to get bargains on everything. They'll walk <laughs> into a fucking antique store. They'll go to a china that's wait, worth like wait. five thousand dollars. They'll be like. I'll give you five bucks. Right wait, wait, wait. So, so the, the amoebas in the water, they go, they go into Not the drain. Not the amoebas, the Listen. amoeba people. The- Quit wait, being no, insensitive. Amoeba. No, wait, the amoebas, the, the amoebas go into their brain and they... The ame- wait, wait, they go into the part of their brain the where they... The fucking amoeba's not a virus. The part of they their brain. They are the amoeba people. They're amoebas. Amoeba. They're wait, morphing wait. before oh, your very oh, eyes. Oh, so they are the amoebas they're that grew. They're the personification of an amoeba. That's even weirder. You're they're saying, fucking water people. Are you saying that, like, an amoeba, like, infected their brain and, like... No, no. He's saying the, he's saying that a little amoeba grew up to be a... a, a, a no, I'm not fucking saying <laughs> that. I'm saying tainted. they drink it. They drink yeah. tainted water and became water people that's what i just said that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying but okay. it's not it's we're not both, it's agreed. not an infectious amoeba that ex- this isn't the fucking powerpuff girls but, These- but what is it if it changes <laughs> them to bargain what are you okay, talking no, about like cory talk I'm, I'm talking about how Corey, you can pin it's Corey, going to be more Corey. nonsense specifically tell me uh, all the things you would see in an amoeba person that will make you say hey, that's the amoeba person the official water person he'll try to find fucking bargains on everything okay, okay but that's what he does what does he the look shirt like? on your back he looks like the old guy who's eating his <laughs> okay, what is their skin like? For example, it's fucking pasty white and full of n- nonsense. Like okay, shit, full of nonsense. What are the hair like? This falling out, they're losing oh, hair. Like Gollum? Yeah, like variations of them. What are the fingernails like? Long and gray. <laughs> what are their uh, What are their eyes like? Like f- uh, fucking yellow. Their teeth? Yellow. Their ears. Uh, brown. <laughs> Wait, Corey, you're making this up. <laughs> you're a liar. Corey, no, I'm not. You're a Is deep red no, fryer. I don't. I, 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 listen, the, the water people are like fucking vampires. They change form. They're, they change form into different forms. The fucking water people can look like a human being, but change before your very eyes. They come in all shades and forms. Like, There's levels like, of water people. Like what? It depends how long you've been drinking water. There's level fucking three water people and so there's level one water people. So you're saying if I go to Missouri and I drink your water, I will turn into a water you person? Will, it takes about a few, a year and a half to become a water person. What will happen to me? You will become stupider. It kills your brain cells faster stupider? than beer. Stupider? So it, it kills, does affect your brain cells. It kills your brain faster than beer. The, there's some chemicals in our water <laughs> that literally 
is it, it's like some shit straight out of Stephen King. I'm not even fucking joking. If I was a water person, would you still be my friend? Yes. And what like, percentage of Missouri? Because I would get, I would find you the best bargains that you would be happy with, Chris. <laughs> okay. Um, you go into a store and I I get a shirt off someone's back. For so when, when someone's in the store and they're like, oh, here's a fucking water person again, then they come up and they're like, oh yeah, five bucks or whatever. So like, is, is that what happens? No, they, everyone's a water person except for like the people who are aren't. your parents water people. No, we don't drink the water. Oh. We buy water bottles. But how did your parents have the like uh, foresight to see that? Because, because my mom and my my dad, they're they're like, what do you call those people who like worry about the apocalypse? Conspiracy theorists. Well, yeah, that. But like, they're like worried about the apocalypse. Uh, I don't know, truthers. Not fucking truthers. They're the guys who like living in like the mountains. Basically, my family has prepared for the Y two K. Okay, that makes sense because so that they, happened uh, fi I, fifteen years ago. Yeah, like they they fucking have like chili and all this stuff backed up for years. Like we have baked beans that can last a us a lifetime in the fucking basement and upstairs in the attic. We have so much food and Tupperware and shit in case some. Because my parents are like that. They're, that's how they are. I think more likely that there's something in your baked beans that made you guys like this instead of the water. I'm the water. completely fine. I'm not- I ain't no filthy are fucking sure, water person. <laughs> look in- look into my eyes. My face. Cool, your eyes are dead. I can't be any more serious. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so if I became a water person, what would be the first signs? You- you would- English, Your ears would start browning. English would be a thing of the past. That's what I'd be like, I lose to this. Yeah, slurs, you would that, you would- you would have sim- sim English. Sim talk. You would sim talk. Who that's a deep bro? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but it would be uh, more broken and you would have- be more hickish. Broken? More hickish. broken? Broken and hickish. So like, <laughs> Yes! Whoa. Yeah. Oh, gee, Corey actually had PTSD there yeah, when he did Corey that. Corey was like, holy Corey fuck. backwards. Well, I'm Corey's telling you, I, it's- it seems- it seems like a, a fucking fabled Zack story, but this is not- what you think? This is truly true of all true things. The water people. There are of water Missouri. people of Missouri in our area, and like it, it's scary because they come in all shapes and sizes. Where do they sleep? They're just families. They live in fucking like dirty houses and stuff. Dude. Broken houses. They go to the same bar that's been there for forty years, and it's just fucking scary. Wait, but this only happened in the last year and a half, right? No. It, no, it's been happening. We oh. haven't drank the water in 14 years. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I'm 100% serious. Do animals drink the water? Even when we shower, we like spit it out. We don't drink the water. Well, why would you drink the water when you shower? Like, if it goes in your mouth, oh. we spit it out immediately. We don't even attempt to drink it. If you like, if we're brushing our teeth, we spit it out immediately. If like, the only time we just wash dishes with it, we only use water to clean because we're like, my parents and stuff are terrified of that. Me, myself, I don't like drinking fucking faucet water because especially when we used to open the water yellow shit used to come out Ew. so I hate yellow because i'm arts <laughs> but go for it so basically i went back and i visited like and it was just it was worse like i i swear to god they must have had like a water party because there were so many more water people <laughs> i it, it's not and it's terrifying too because it's like that's the place i used to live and all my high school friends left, and all that was left was just like these crazy, like homeless people trying to get bargains on stuff that was already broken. <laughs> so what if there's like a wet t-shirt contest? Like, would their titties go all gray and like fall? You off? don't want to see water people bodies. Why not? Because they don't have bodies. What do they have? They change before your very eyes. What do I? They just. You know, do you know the truffle shuffle? It's like that constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they're all doing it, or they all have their the... bodies always fucking truffle shuffle. Okay, like even when they're standing still, they just go. So when they walk from place to place, they're truffle shuffling. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> okay, it, it, the, that's that's the only thing I don't like about going back is seeing all this. That, like, that's a pretty major thing. It, uh, it is scary, but it's like I wanted to see my family. Are but, they are they self aware? Like, do they know they're water people? My, my, I mean, my parents are naturally, like, like, worried about stuff. Like, it's funny, too, because my mom has all these theories, even though she doesn't, like, understand how internets work. But she, like, I love my mom and everything, but sometimes I think my mom's a little too paranoid and a little fucking listening to too many water people on her downtime because they're, like, talking about, my mom thinks there's this camp that has, like, these fucking, like, plastic coffins. There's, like, thousands of them. That are just there. They're just bare camps that have coffins. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then she like told me this story. And she, she showed me something once. And I'm like, mom, that's insane. Somebody <laughs> would fucking find out about this. This is the age of technology. There wouldn't be a camp with only plastic things. She believes the government's in on everything. And it's just like, oh my god. Why would they only have plastic? What, like, what's, what's, I don't about, know. what's bad about that? What? She, she's like, oh, there's plastic coffins. It's like, maybe they're carrying stuff inside the plastic coffins. And she's like, no, they're empty. She's just like, it's just the people in her town, 
she talks about how like she there was like she said something like these people the government like captured like a few people in town and filled them with something and brought them back to like get sine waves and like read things this sounds like looney tunes but i'm telling you it's fucking true oh it's interesting it's just insane uh what else does she believe in she believes in everything. Anything the government's ever done, she thinks like the government did. All that shit. It's like the government did it. The government put stuff. That's my mom. Chemtrails is such a weird conspiracy. Like it's like I love my mom, but I I, I hate the whole theories of government shit. It's like, yeah, oh, mom, the fucking dollar is gonna drop to a penny. You don't have to worry about Y two K anytime soon. <laughs> Dude, Y two K happened. Oh, okay, what? When uh when nine eleven happened, my mom and dad thought that World War three was happening. Yeah, me too. I, I remember they bought a bunch of like coca noodles and shit. That's what my parents do normally. They yeah. they say they tell me it's like, Cord, do you have preparation? Do you have lamp oil? Do you have? Well, that's kind of like sweet in some weird. Conspiracy yeah, but I'm like, way. I'm like, Ma, I'm a, I'm a fucking 24 year old idiot who can barely afford living. Why the fuck would I waste money on lamp oil? <laughs> She's like, fair enough. Well, once the <laughs> once the water people come to power, you're gonna need that. Listen, life. the fucking water people don't leave misery. They oh, yeah. fucking stay Corey, there. If I went on Google and typed in misery water people, would I find the water people? You would find the official water people. I don't know if that's a, that might be a colloquial term my family gave them. Maybe it's like an, a scientific term for it, but they're officially called water people. Wow. And they harbor in Missouri. Missouri. The water people. That uh. It's scary. There used to be like like it water is. people that lived in our woods. <laughs> there was like fucking mattresses with blood stains and shit oh in our woods. Oh my god. I'm not even joking. I almost feel like so serious. this is a really good idea for a movie almost. It's Corey, scary. Corey, this is like this is, it's kind of cute because what I kind of think is there's like a lot of like drugs and stuff going on. The water people is the way that your parents said, you know, just to try to protect you from like like the amount of like drugs and like no, my mom addicts and like, shit. My mom knows so, uh, about it's kind of adorable. Drugs. What? I'm hip. I, I know drugs. I think it's more likely than the water people. You don't but know wait, drugs. that's just me. Listen, Nile. I've smoked the weeds. I've done the D's. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow, man, wow, I, I, the XTDs. Weed. I've done the XDs and the. And the fucking double D's and, and the ecstasies. Um, I wanted to talk about toys again. I, I remember. Uh, oh, I time, wanted to talk about that too. Yeah, go, go, last, go. last time I watched TV, yeah, I was watching Cartoon Network, and it was just like all the fucking commercials for the toys were just yeah, new action bug lights up, and kids are like, whoa, whoa lights up, and then whoa. it's like rolling down the wall, lighting up, whoa. and then the next toy is like new glow rings, and it's just like shit glowing. It's like. It's like, do fucking people care about glowing toys now? Listen, this is something I've always wanted to talk about, right? Yeah. I'm very passionate about toys because I used to be the Let toy- Let me hear it. I used to be the toy boy of the century. The Tell me something. I was the toy master, okay? Did you play with yo-yos? I'm not talking about fucking gimmick toys. I'm, uh, I'm talking about fucking ball action yo -yo figures, toy. right? Action figures? No, listen, this is, this is important, right? What you just said reminded me of toys that I used to get when I was younger, where it's like, yeah, push a button and their arms fly out. And I used to be like, I don't fucking care, okay? <laughs> All I want is a plastic toy with no stupid electronics that will break in my bathtub when I'm playing swimming. Oh, yeah! Or no fucking stupid gimmicks yeah, like this, their arms fly out. I fucking hate that. All I that. want is a it's toy like, with good articulation. You, you, not too much yeah, articulation. This is so, so funny. Do you know when you get a fucking, like, Lego thing when you paid for it when you kid? Pay $40 for yeah. one fucking thing? Like, oh, the ball rolls down the hill. You're gonna do that? What? And you're tired yeah, of it. And exactly. The kids, the kids are like, they like roll it down. They're I like, hate toys where you do like it once and you're out. done. I never yeah. got, I never got those Legos where you, do, you you have to buy it for a specific reason. It's like here's it's a Star saying. Trek ship. Yeah, it's like I, I got a fucking Indiana Jones. It took me like two days to set up because there was a hundred fucking parts, and then oh oh, oh it was a trap door and Indiana Jones fell into I, I, a fucking hole. Yeah. I don't get it, right? I don't fucking get this. <laughs> listen here now, right? This is very Niall, important. listen. Chris is very passionate. This Niall, is important. So is I used to get listen. toys all the time when I was younger, right? Which <laughs> yeah. is very like, oh, white person problem, but I, I can't, <laughs> I don't get why fucking toy creators design toys so poorly for With kids. one fucking gimmick. Right? They're like, oh yeah, this is a toy where you set up a loop-de-loop -loop for a car and the car does the loop-de-loop -loop and drives off, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool once. Kids aren't that stupid. You're, I mean, you might experience and start like putting your fucking thing at the edge of a, of a cliff and like watch it fly off. It's stuff. way more fun to have a toy and you make your own creations with it. Like, yeah. like, and I can't stand toys. I had a fucking Ash Ketchum, right? I was, I love Pokemon, right? I got an Ash Ketchum toy for my mom for Christmas. All he does is he stands there with one hand down to his side, his both feet on the ground, and one hand next to him with a Pokeball in it, and you can't bend his arms <laughs> or legs. So it's like, how am I supposed to play with this fucking <laughs> stiff piece of shit? 
Like what? He, he fucking walks like a fucking statue. Like dum, 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 dum. speaking of a disappointing presence, like we did last week, Corey didn't get to say what his disappointing. Oh yeah, you assholes! Was. You did a fucking Christmas special, and let me tell you something. Because yeah. you were over doing. I, was, I understand. I was missing too. I understand. And me and Chris, uh, we talk about the worst fucking gifts ever that we got for Christmas. I got you motherfuckers beat left and right. Yeah. There was a point. Uh, I guess I can get into this. Preach it, bro. But it's like, so you know when you want, there's like one thing you want as a kid. I'm like, I want a computer. I know it's going to be expensive, but this is all I want. This is the only thing I want for Christmas. And, and for next Christmas and last Christmas and all the Christmas ever, I want a computer. I don't care if it's a laptop. I just want a computer. Yeah. And my dad was like, okay, you know what my fucking dad get me, got me what? instead of that? Like, you know, I understand giving and stuff. He got me something on the fucking North Pole side of things of what I've wanted. <laughs> he got me a fucking metal detector. <laughs> oh, what a and, dick. And he, he was like, it's, it's, he's like, you can create your own adventures. He was trying to, like, play it off. He was trying to, like, make it this whimsical toy. And it was the most confusing, <laughs> fucking loud, ear-piercing thing I've ever heard in my life. Because when it goes next to a metal, it's like, beep, 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 beep. And so... So it broke, obviously, because I didn't understand how to use it. And one day I was asleep, and it just went. Ee, dee, 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 dee. My dad came in, and he fucking picked it up, <laughs> slipped it on the ground, Wait, and fucking broke your it. Your dad, dude. I hate your dad. I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> he fucking smashed it like three times. He's and such he's a like, villain. And he's. <laughs> and That's he, not the worst thing he's ever and done. And then he left, and then the next morning he he was like. I did that? I didn't even know I did that. He was just so used to fucking... Your dad is such a, like, badly written villain <laughs> character. He's just over-the-top evil. He got me a metal detector, and this is the best part, okay? You want to know the best part about him getting a metal detector? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My dad is the kind of person who goes to fucking yard sales and junkyards, and he fucking gets wood with the nails inside of it, and he fucking takes it, and he'll, like, have me pull the nails out of the fucking board for, like, a nickel or a penny. And then he... It's spread all over the ground, so he spills metal, and there's fucking metal everywhere all over our property, and it's like a junkyard, and then he gives me a fucking metal detector, and it's like, it's having a field day the second I go outside, it's just, e -e 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 -e. so I can never find money to begin with, so I'm already pissed off that I got that. You just, uh, do you not take it to a park or somewhere that's so not he your smashed that nail filled the uh, garden? <laughs> so the next gift he got me, and I shit you not, this is the actual, he actually... Okay, so he we went on a hike for two hours. Two hours. And then he was talking about his dad or something in the past. And then we came to a giant fucking tractor tire. It was like fucking huge. It was like three of me stacked on me. <laughs> and he's like, here's your Christmas present. <laughs> and I, I looked at him. I was tired and exhausted and hot and oh, sweaty. And I had right. like 40 different ticks on my leg. And I was just like... I'm like, okay. And then I walked home. He's like, maybe someday you can have two giant tractor tires. <laughs> and and he, then you can put a tractor he, together. Like, and then day. he told me later that the reason why he did that was because he wanted to get closer. And I'm like, why didn't you just fucking talk to me? Why did you force me to go on a hike and then ground me because I walked home alone? Wait, so, no, he... I'm very confused. He brought you up a hill on a hike to give you a, a huge tire. Is this true? It was a, it was a, yeah, it was like He a, gave you a tire? Yeah, a tire I couldn't move because it's a fucking 100 foot tire. Why would he give you that? Because he's weird! Why, no, but what was his logic? What, like, he had to- To, to get to know me better! Why would he give you a giant tire? To get to know you better? Because <laughs> he's insane! Your dad is a fucking idiot, Corey. Corey, I don't know if this is you the way you perceive it, or if this, this is- This yeah, is true! Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe you're just a fucking I, idiot, I Corey. Don't, I don't know. No, how? How? I don't know how I could perceive something of me hiking. How can I forget something No, because your dad might have- you know, Maybe on the other side <laughs> of the tire there was like a bag of gold or something. Yeah, like, like maybe I your walked, dad was pointing I at like walked, I circled the maybe tire. Maybe your dad was pointing I at a new was like a electric joke. guitar or something. I thought there was a joke. I circled around it and I'm like, what is this? And he told me it was a tire. And then he maybe explained. he got you a tire like clothes, and uh, you you were like oh. maybe you were supposed to get in the tire and roll down the hill and get your real present. It was it was there for like forty <laughs> fucking ever. It was just sitting there. It was an old tire. Yeah, it was rusty, old, and shitty. What the hell? What's wrong with him? I don't know. That was years ago. You should have been like, Dad, I'm tired of this, and, and then walked away. <laughs> you would have laughed, then I would have got a raise. No, but what what happened was, eventually it just came to a point where he just didn't, he didn't get me what I wanted. He got me what I wanted for my birthday. Yeah. I got a GameCube, a PlayStation 2, and not a computer. I never got a fucking computer. I got a shitty hand-me-down Mac computer, and then I got a computer that 
was fucking shit, and I, I just went to my mom's house and, and used that computer and eventually got it. This is the last thing I want to say about toys. Okay. You know what breaks my fucking heart? What? When I was a little wee baba. A baby? A little wee child with a fat tit. <laughs> all I ever thought- One fat All tit. I ever wanted, right, was like, toys of like, Cloud Stripe. I know I'm a faggot, right? That's obviously gay. But no, all I ever wanted was- I wanted fucking Mario action yeah, figures all I Sonic. wanted was Mario, Sonic, the fucking That's all you Cloud, want. You just want- And Master Chief. That's like, all I wanted Welcome was like- Welcome to the a, autism episode. Shut up. No. All we needed, <laughs> look, all I wanted, Corey, was toys of these beloved video game characters. And we, we never seemed to get them. And then now you go into a Target, they've got toys That's of all, all these. That's all I know! Yo, it's uh, not fair! Oh, yeah, oh, I get to, I get to play with my, my favorite fucking Finding Nemo toy. I fucking- I don't give a fuck! Why didn't they do this when we were younger? All I wanted was these fucking toys. Yeah, now there's there's. I like, had to use a fucking connects, man, and fucking imagine like. These I understand characters on I, I understand, and it's like only and if you ever did get a toy, it was like a Legos variation yeah. of it or something. No, like they didn't. They use. did not have game toys when I was younger. They didn't. That's true. I went to the store and I was like, why the fuck is there no Master Chiefs here or, or Samus's or anything? It's bullshit. Dude, Samus toys are cool. I that's know. Like one toys I stand behind. I didn't, I didn't get fucking anything, and when I finally did get something, I swear it was like a few years after I stopped playing with toys is when they started making that. It's yeah. so fucking a big fuck. That's deal. all it now. I mean, because it's like you gotta think of it now. All kids care about is fucking video games. All I ever did when I was younger was play with toys. This, this new generation. It's a huge part of my life. It was probably half my life so far. You know what I could never figure out? What? How to do Transformers? I don't, I, yeah, I don't like Transformer toys. I you aren't the kind of Rubik's Cube children, you were like more no. like- No, listen you shit. I couldn't figure it out. Every time I, I get- I could figure it out, it was just boring. I would, I would have like a shitty, like, a shitty Transformers toy, and I couldn't figure this motherfucker out. He had like flaps and like, wing and, and like holsters, and I'm like, what the hell? I How do I put optimist. it together? But the thing is, like, when you're done, like, transforming them, like, you know in the movies, it's like, or in the show, it's like, and you're like, well, that was quick, but when you're actually doing it, it, yeah, takes, it's like, like, it takes, like, ten minutes, and, it's then, confusing, and then when you're done, you, you, yeah, you can't really play with it, because they're so delicate. It's like, if I bend his arm too fast, it's gonna fucking fly off. It's like Bionics. Do you remember Bionicle? They were sweet. Bionicle. They were a huge part of the They were. Controller. They were. I remember that I used to watch this show, and I had. I, uh, I, I no. got a. I got a CD once. What, I will say one thing. A Bionicle CD game. I in my cereal box. In my honeycomb cereal box. I got those. Box. They were. They were tiny discs. In my honeycomb cereal. Small discs, in my right? honeycomb yeah. cereal box. And you box. can watch videos of them yes. like, kicking rocks against each other. Or you can play like a fucking terrible computer game <laughs> with one mini game. No. It was so fun. But the thing is about Bionicle, right? Uh, they were so cool, right? They were, yeah. they were awesome. But then when you see the movie, uh, they, they like really Americanized the whole culture it was of Bionicle. Awful. It was like they have these like little movie messages like, whoa, dude, and they're like surfing on lava. It's like, that's not what I thought he'd sound like. <laughs> I thought he'd be like a fucking tribal warrior. Yeah, he's like, he's like whoa, whoa. the wind is in the north. Yeah, and but instead but he's all like, come on, man, let's go, come on, Ty. And you're like, fuck you. Because it gotta relate to like the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all those other quarrels. And another thing about Bionicle is it, it ruined like uh, some of my childhood. Bionicles? Not really though. Like <laughs> it, it ruined like a month of my childhood because when I was younger, uh, my mom and dad would only buy me games like every like month or two or three. Did you get allowance? No. Really? Yeah, not, not until I was like 15. I got an allowance. Yeah. From My dad didn't give me allowance. He believed money is earned through working, which is reasonable. I think I used to get 10 euro a week. My mom gave me $20. I never got it. Really? No. My mom gave me $20 a week when I was a but kid. But wait, this is the last thing I will say about Bionicle. When I was a kid. Yeah, I, well, I never, I didn't do anything to deserve When I was a kid. You got a kid, you got an allowance kid? I, I got $20 when I was a kid. That's bullshit, Do you Corey. know what I used to do? A little spoiler I would go to a theme. fucking candy got... store and waste it all. <laughs> yeah. I, I am not, I, how are you not fat? I, had a... I don't have the stamina of such. <sighs> I could never do such nonsense anymore. Because A, I can't eat candy I, anymore. I had a paper route, so I, that's where I got my Did money you? from. Yeah, I used oh. to go around being a little paper boy, and my mom, did in fairness fucking help me with all those papers like she'd do half of them like, really yeah so, nice of her. yeah my yeah. mom she would give me allowance and my sister and everyone she would spend so much money and then one day she came to me crying she's like i can't give you any more money and i'm like stop giving me money i don't care because i was like i i told her she would be like i need to give you allowance and i'm like mom i'm an adult i don't want money anymore because I, I i felt weird getting money at like she was giving me money around the age of like 16 or 17. Yeah. And I felt like that's a little uncomfortable. Like that's a point where you should you should be earning your money not Well, that's a good that's, that's a good mentality to have. Yeah. yeah. But I just felt weird and then she's like, "I don't want my mom fucking like losing money and shit over me just to waste my money on cuz I used to save my money and then blow it on the stupidest shit. I would be like, 
oh, new Bionicles, better spend $15 for that. I could have <laughs> fucking saved it for yeah. some giant Lego set that I'd probably play with. I used like, to just buy Pokemon cards all the time. Oh, man, I only had a few of those. I missed oh. out on the Pokemon cards. Crazy. I was one of those I kids with the, the folders. Of I the thought Pokemon. the fucking cards were a total waste of money at the time. No, I, 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 I was a little kid too. I knew better than you now. Well, <laughs> cool you play with Bionicles. You wait, 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 Bionicles wait, wait, wait. was the coolest speak, fucking thing. Speaking of it, in seventh grade. You oh you want to know something? Wait wait no I'm not done yet. Wait, I gotta I'm, tell you I'm something. I'm almost done. I'm almost done, right? <laughs> Corey, put it in your pocket. Yeah, save put it in your pocket. Later. We'll we'll save it, right? There's a hole. God in damn the it, bucket, Corey! In the bucket, in the bucket. Dear there's Liza. a hole in the bucket. Dear, Dear Liza, Liza. There's a hole in the bucket. <laughs> then men. Wait wait no. But, <laughs> but you know when you're younger. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I had I, I had a Disney version of it. Wait, wait, uh, no, guys, we're how do you, we weird. probably sound like psychos, but how do you know that fucking song? Because I had Everyone a CD. I had a my CD. dad used to play that in the car every time we fake went to church. You know when you're younger and it's like, when you, whenever you get a game, it's like a big deal because mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. don't, you don't get a game every week because they're expensive. Yeah. yeah. I, my fucking game of the week was, or oh, not the week, my game of like, <laughs> my game of the like three or four months was fucking Bionicle on PS2. Did you ever oh play that? Oh my god, no. It's no. the worst game ever. It, no. it, it, it was, it, no, like, <laughs> look up a gameplay on YouTube. It was the fucking worst. Robot Wars was it, the It was worst. so bad. Guess what it did? What? You know, you know what music like loops in the background of a game? This game was so lazy that the music plays like an MP3, then it fades out, and oh. then it starts again. <laughs> and it was the worst fucking music ever. It was the worst game ever. Didn't even loop. It made me sick. Corey, so your dad fake went to church. You you, you just kind of skimmed over that. What? Yeah. Uh, well, Where did you go instead? Like I told you, my dad. The only I was brought up to think that the only reason my dad would go to church was to mac or look good. To what? To mac? To yeah. mac? Is this a water people thing? No, mac. Hit on girls. Oh, okay. Is, is this? Uh, oh, did your like, dad come up with that term? Oh, like always macking. Sunny? Macking. Wait, mac. Mac and cheese? What are you talking I about? Oh, what's that? I don't know what that this is. This is... I'm gonna cut out me All right, this is a hip term for hitting on girls. This is a shit term. Macking. It's like macking. It's like, hey, lady, nice nice bloomers. It's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> nice bloomers. <laughs> so your dad would go to church and say nice bloomers. To your the dad would go to church, pull fucking old ladies' trousers down, and check out the fucking bloomers. And then <laughs> wait, 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 bloomers are in the trousers? I said and bloomers then, were tits. And then he would play... There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. On the way back, every so we'd point single at, fucking time. So we point at their what? butthole and start going, there is a hole in it. <laughs> no. So what no. you're saying is your dad drives to church. He says, hey, baby, nice bloomers. <laughs> then he goes, there's a hole in my bucket and drives away. <laughs> What? I never fucking said such And then he'd nonsense. take it to the fucking tire farm. That's I like, never- That's like I a never, shitty movie you guys, moment. You guys are creating, like, this is like a psycho who fucking comes up to just murder you, his whole family. That's like- <laughs> That's like when a fucking black guy jumps up and his car is like, Yo, what, but fuck you, and it goes BOOM! And no! Like, the hole in my bucket, and- What was it, Raffy? Yeah, Raffy. What's Raffy? Raffy, Raffy was, this, was this pervert who s used to sing kid songs on the oh. CDs. He's a really a pervert? Yeah. I fucking love Tell Raffy. Yeah. He's a pervert. He used to sing that song and he was like, what's that? The baby boy. He would, he would like, uh, he would play octopus on a little kid's laps. Oh. <laughs> oh, Raffy concerts. <laughs> that hand gesture was disgustingly creepy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> played octopus. He would play octopus. Stop doing that hand gesture. <laughs> Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, you're a pervert, Corey. I have, I have no such word. <laughs> uh, I can prove it. I, uh. I can too. But anyways, what were we talking about before this shit? Okay, your dad go pointing at bloomers. Um, no, I made that up. My dad would not fucking molest old ladies at church. <laughs> were they water people? <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't molest old water ladies either. Well, well does it matter? Like, it <laughs> there wasn't fucking amoeba water ladies, old ladies, old chattels, fucking at church. <laughs> Corey, your fucking vocabulary is amazing. A, I don't know what. I'm telling you though, my dad would drive Raffy singing. The, the, there's a hole in my bucket to church, and I used to sing it with him because it was a good song. At, it is catchy. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, there's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza. I had the the uh, actually it doesn't matter. I don't, no one cares, but it was like a Disney version, and they were singing like no one dear cares. Goofy. No, I care. They're singing about like Goofy. It was like they mended dear Goofy. I don't. Goofy no, I don't care. Oh, 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 I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. That, I don't. So I only know that. I only know that version. What's the, there was a Raffi wasn't the only one who had these like fucking nursery rhyme songs. No, no, a lot of them went in on that game. Oh man, like, YouTube has guys. the best nursery rhymes. Yeah, Perry like, Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. 
eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling the lie? I fucking no, hate Papa. that. You guys told yeah, that, me. That freaks uh, Corey out, it is, actually. It's freaky. It Go on YouTube. Me out, it's up. annoying. Corey left the room Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. It's annoying. There's like a hundred different variants. They're all the made by fucking, fucking terrible, scary desert towns in Terrible Iraq. fucking Indonesian idiots trying to animate with their <laughs> fucking finger they're paint. All, they're all so <laughs> definitely think, made do think by like do you, do you think creepy that's how, like, people in those lands. Do you think that's how like they indoctrinate the children? They're like, she had And they're all like, they all sing it. There is like videos of like a guy just says, Mickey Mouse be like, Islam is the life. <laughs> Listen, viewer or listener, go uh, go to the description of this and uh, click on the videos of Johnny Johnny, Yes Papa, Mickey by the Railroad, and Little Husband. Yeah, and you will be amazed. <laughs> oh, Little uh, Tiny Husband. <laughs> tiny Husband. Dude, Tiny Husband. Look up, look up Yes Johnny and Tiny Husband. You won't be fucking disappointed. <laughs> I had a dream about Tiny Husband. How really? do you have a dream of that? I had a dream I was reading In the paper. In case you're wondering, you get to see... Tiny husband in his endeavors of his macro wife and her gross feet, like fucking yellow toenails, feet fungus, Ew. and he crawls into her sock and he's like, "Don't crush me," and a green screen. Yeah, that, that was a really accurate. Don't crush me. That's like that was his acting in it. He's like, he has his green screen. He's like latching onto her fucking boils and like taking it. <laughs> just hanging off. Wait, him. wait. These people don't understand. Let them watch it, okay? All right, Tiny Guys, Husband. Watch Tiny Husband. Actually, I think his channel is Tiny Husband Two. And Nine A okay. Central. We'll we'll post them all in the, in the description. So <laughs> post Tiny Husband. We'll, po we'll post anything disgusting we find. <laughs> Okay, uh, next topic. I don't know what we we're fucking talking about, to be completely honest. Next topic, um, hmm. Do you, know, you know what I don't understand? What? I really don't understand this when you were a kid, is how you could watch the same movie over and over and over. I was thinking about that recently. You know, like, I, I watched- Oh, yeah. I watched fucking Aladdin, like- I was just thinking like of Aladdin when no you said that! no other motherfucker. I watched Aladdin so Aladdin much. Aladdin is such a little boy Aladdin. movie. I've seen Aladdin And then, and I played the game. Times. I played the fucking game so many times for the Sega. Yeah. Holy shit. I played that and Lion King, like, retarded amounts of time. Yeah. I watched fucking Lion King retarded amounts yeah, of time. Yeah, me too. There's just something about old Disney movies you can just watch yeah. and watch and I watch fucking and Shrek you enjoy them every single time as well yeah I, I watch Shrek watch, I can still watch Hunchback all the way through to this day like over and over just because of how Dude, interesting it is yeah the whole way. I watched Shrek so much the fucking CD started to skip and it was breaking because we took it out and then put it back in laser burn yeah it was fucking ruined like it, it would skip at one part because we watched Shrek once yeah. so many times but fucking like I was saying that to Nile recently that when you're a kid you can watch a movie over and over and over but now recently and you can play a game when, when, when I see a movie, yeah, yeah, that's true. When, when I see a movie now, though, it's it, you can only watch it like three times before you're sick of it. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. I can't. Some watch movies movie. you can only watch once forever. Like I only saw Slumdog Millionaire once, and I still remember like nearly all of it to this day. Did you maybe, like it? Maybe. Yeah, it was all right. It really depends on the kind of movie. Like some movies, like if it ends with a big twist or whatever, you can only really watch it once. Like I had a Pokemon anime like DVD that had ten episodes. Flip your pants, Nile. <laughs> Nile. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nile! <laughs> he just walked away to pour himself a drink and his pants fell down like a fucking cartoon. Dude, I'm telling you. Pull your pants up, you homeless <laughs> Jimmy. Pull them up, you fucking dumpling. <laughs> give me a, Give me my Mountain Dew. I didn't, I didn't want to get the Mountain Dew sound crackling into the mic, fucking so I walked away Jesus. and uh, Can I tell the story about Patty Ross? What happened? Did I ever tell you about that time when I was hanging out with Patty Ross and it was me, Patty, Sean, and some other dude and we're all watching a movie? And we were all just watching it, and Patty was staring into blank space for like five minutes. And he just randomly stood up and he pulled his pants down and he just stood in, like looking into the wall for a few seconds. And we were just like, what, 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 what the fuck are you doing? And then he fuck, he, it's like he woke up from a trance. And he was like, what? And he pulled up his pants. And what? We were like, yeah, we were like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And then he, he didn't even realize he did it. It was just weird. What a fucking weird. I have a question. <laughs> have you guys? Did you guys That's ever funny. play Truth or Dare and actually like do some crazy like shit when you did Truth or Dare? Not really. Yeah. Like crazy shit. Yeah. Like, like crazy shit. Like to a point where uh, you would like when we did Truth and Dare, we actually did stuff like we were like we did we. I broke into someone's house and stole something from Corey. their house. I did it as a dare. I oh, no, that's, no, it's okay now. The, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Yeah, fine. no, it was like... It, it, was, it was just a dare. It you was just, a dare. That's no problem. They dare me to go in and take this person's thing. How old were you, Corey? Uh, like 16. Corey, you were old enough to know no, better. No, no, it was a dare. It was a dare. It was a dare. Like uh, I said, it was a dare. like I said, like dare. Like I, my friend had to put on my Corey. sister's clothes, Corey. and my sister was wearing like slutty clothes at the time, <laughs> so he had to look like a fucking skank. And and I had to go steal something. 
And Corey, someone, please tell someone me. else had to eat carrots and celery out of my other friend's ass. What? what? Please, <laughs> please tell me you returned it at least the celery. I returned Dude, what? It. You returned it. I returned okay, it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I brought it back to show them. It's still them. not fine breaking and I, entering. It's but... not fine. No, no. I brought it back to show them, and then I made my friend eat, like, a fucking candle to pay him back for that. Oh, my God. A whole candle. Corey. Fuck's sake, Corey, you were still- No, I'm up. saying, if you ever played, like, played Truth or Dare or done something that was actually, like, you didn't just do, like, Truth or Dare, uh, I dare you to pick your nose and eat it. You should actually do something, like, intense, like, <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah, I would never do that. I would be too scared. Uh, no, yeah. I didn't. They, Corey, you live in fucking Missouri. They could have easily blown your head off. Dude, you're so what if stupid. they were water people? They would kill you. They were water people. <laughs> oh, you or maybe they just wouldn't notice. They were outside, tr entranced by the fire, and I fucking snuck in when they weren't looking. God! That is actually <laughs> terrifying. I would <laughs> never do that. Dude, this is like The Walking Dead. <laughs> That's fucking, fucking scary. Wrong Missouri. You walked into a fucking <laughs> water <laughs> horse Ferguson house. shit you makes sense easily now. Been worrying. He could have been... You fucking idiot! It's like Breaking Bad and he walks in with the fucking guy with the shotgun? That's fucking scary, Cory. I would never do that. You, uh, you, you fucking giant balls. Cory! Or you dumb. <laughs> Dude, they didn't know. And when I left, they were still staring I'm, at the fucking fire. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, like, justify it. I'm trying to. It's like, you could do that in Ireland, if, like, but you'd still be a fucking idiot. But... This is Missouri, Corey. This is like the place where people are known for fucking being dumbasses and blowing each other off. Well, I know that now. Guns. Listen, I wasn't aware at the time. Water people wasn't a fucking colloquial experience. But you, you told me that that was around for. Th they, they were there, but you. It's it's. They weren't caught water people. They were just dead. <laughs> Like fucking heroin addicts or something. Like what they actually this probably the, are. This was the studying phase when you were studying them from a pharaoh with your camera. <laughs> my friend, making your discoveries. My, friend, my friend's dad actually had a meth lab upstairs. Oh fucking in hell. his room. I'm not even joking. They actually got arrested. This is like Breaking Bad, family. Walking Dead, fucking but Stephen the King. Next, the people next door actually broke into Josh's house while he was gone. Because that's his name. They broke into his house and they stole his shit. People were always robbing him. There was there was water people around, but they were like they, their brains were still functioning enough to know that they don't need to get bargains yet. It wasn't until they're like cognitive, like, like what? What? how do you do this, Corey? I'm not how do you perceive thing. reality? How do you do this? I'm not. I'm fucking being serious. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand how there, there could be water people and no one knows about oh them except God. for you. Uh, they're like locked away. The government won't talk about it. It's like a spoken. Corey, you have to stop talking to your mom. I think once every two years is too much. Listen, <laughs> Nile. If you open your heart to the water people, you will fucking see them. Uh, no, they'll <laughs> fucking eat it. No, they're not zombies. They're just. I want to know brain more. Dead. I want to know more about them. Uh, what do they eat? Food. Brains. Oh, really? They eat like bargain food. Drugs. Like bomb dollar food. Yeah. Okay. They um, eat no no brand food and they don't have windows. What are their or doors? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that why it was so easy to sneak in? Yeah. So their houses are just boxes and and animals come Wait, in and I, out. I get it now. They're not fucking. You just walked into like a crack house. Yeah. Corey, you Corey, walked into a crack house. Corey. Corey. No. 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 It, it's variant. Uh. It's variant. They're just people. It's it's lower than Hicks. It's it's people who don't beat their wives and drink mm. beer. It's people who can't even use their brain to realize Was that. Was it a homeless it's, shelter? It's like, it's a fucking vegetable that can still move and walk. Kind of. Ah, oh, God. Do they have gills? No. Okay. They don't swim. Do you think they're evolving or something? Can they swim? Well, there's more of them. There's definitely more water beer. I went to fucking, I went to Walmart. And, and you, another thing too is there's only Walmart. And, and there's people that are pushing carts into walls and shit. And I fucking went into Walmart. <laughs> like platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> like what the fuck? I went into Walmart. And in the self checkout, and this like stupid bitch kept going back and forth, and it was clearly like not working. And it said an assistant, and she just kept fucking going. So I just, I just wanted to buy a fucking me a container of Mentos, and so I fucking turned around and left. And I, t I went back after buying it, and the bitch was still doing it. I'm telling you, these people are worse than stupid. Corey, but but I, because I can't, like th this seems like people need to know more because. They're water people. Okay, <laughs> obviously. It's nonsense, Chris. Like, <laughs> the term "water people" is the, is the. Tell me this: What is the percentage of water people compared to the amongst people? the yeah the regular population? It's like twenty to eighty. 
80 20 to 80 what 80 percent being water people there's like a small margin of people who are still fit and look good those are normal people you saying that they're the vast majority yeah what yeah and they all they have faces a, that are eaten they, in? they go into places they have no sense of like fucking like they, they don't understand perception they don't understand so like you're the minority yeah i walked in i felt so out of place oh that's weird and it's like our family since our family is all paranoid we don't drink the water we don't do any of this stuff so they're just stupid morons pretty much but we're, we're like the people who are wearing the fucking like silver domes and stuff and hiding from the aliens and they're the aliens are they harmless i don't know <laughs> You need to do more research. They fucking, they, one time I went in the back, and and they had like gutted an animal. I think like a what? possum on their table. Was it like a ritual? Not a table on their their. You remember that couch, that bloody couch? Yeah. There was a possum that was gutted on it once. Oh my god. By great. water people. Probably. Wait. So you mean you mean you just looked over the fence? You saw like a possum with his legs spread and his guts hanging out, kind of. No, I I was curious to see what my old like clubhouse looked like in the woods, and there was just like. Well, if it's in the woods, I like would, a fox may have gotten... It was water people signs. I would never walk everywhere. into those woods. What are you talking about? How do you have these fucking... Do you, do you have a lack of fear? That's, that is my woods. It's your woods? That's and our woods. And then water people walk in there and fucking gut possums? What? Water people are gutting possums and fucking in my woods. What the hell? Why would you not be afraid to go in there? Because I fucking hold a kettle to their face and I've been just run for the woods. <laughs> 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 and, they're, and they're like, Whoa! they fucking fly into the sky and disappear. Wait, they fucking seep into the ground like the water. They slither back into their swamp. <laughs> they carry fucking ladles around with dirty gray water and knock on your fucking door. <laughs> they're like, well, I never <laughs> they're looking for bargains in all the wrong places. <laughs> bargains. Why do you think they look for bargains? Because they're, they're fucking crazy homeless old people that are amoebas that can't talk and their brains don't work so they think they can get a bargain on a fucking broken radio. They're crazy! They're kooky kooky! Corey, I think the water's affecting you. They're kooky crazy. I'll believe you when you come back sometime and your like skin's gray and your hair's Listen, falling out. If Corey. my phone wasn't from a fucking hunk of shit from the 80s, I could have took pictures on pictures of all these different water people bumping into walls. Corey, I will make, I will promise you that, right? I will give you a camera to bring with you next time. I would do You it. have to take as many pictures. I would take pictures of so many water people. Okay. You would say, I'd go up to her and be like, excuse me, man. She'd be like, I want to know, I want to know. And I'd, I'd record her <laughs> under her fucking chin so you could see the gray seep out of her mouth. Oh, God. Uh, and can you, can you get a close up of the brown ears that they have as well? The brown ears? Yeah, you said they had brown you ears. You said they had brown ears, you fucking liar now. You said that. No, no you Cole, said that. Dude, we have a recording. No. Corey said they had brown ears. Hmm. You said what color are their Brown ears? in their ears. Earwax. Brown. Oh, and dried okay. earwax. Oh, okay. So and they the, can't hear. Do they have yellow eyes? Yeah. Yellow eyes. Gray skin. <laughs> yeah. Is it blue dicks? <laughs> <laughs> All of them? <laughs> like a grayish blue. <laughs> I've got a good topic. Okay. Okay, guys. What was the craziest uh, things that happened in your school while you were in school? Craziest thing? Yeah. I know for a fact something crazy must have happened in Missouri. Uh, in Missouri? Yeah. Uh, there's too much to... to okay, so say the them. craziest thing. Craziest thing? The craziest thing. It's one time they ran out of chicken patties on chicken patty day. Is that... <laughs> Chicken patty Fuck Wednesday. You. Okay, no, you go. <laughs> Corey's not taking it seriously. No, so. I am taking it seriously. I, it's school was actually, like I said, actually to be completely fair, school wasn't that crazy. Okay. Yeah, it, me neither. It was only really? actually weed wasn't popular when I was in school. Weed got popular after I was out of school and everyone was schoolless and just fucking smoked weed. And that's when the people started taking this K2 stuff and turning into creepy water people. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> the craziest thing- wait. We're getting somewhere now. Mm -hmm. They were taking drugs. They were drinking the water beforehand uh... and were hicks, but the K2 turned them into full fucking hicks. What's K2? It's like a K2 meter and measures electricity. <laughs> Fuck you, Corey. The craziest thing to happen in my school, you want to know what it was? Dude, I don't even know what I say. Of. There was a guy in my class, or in my year, yeah, who people called Gaki, mm -hmm. and he- uh, Gaki. Pe and people were like, hey Gaki, I dare you to piss yourself. People were like, okay, ha, huh? and he'll go into class and piss himself, whatever. But one time he shat in his hand in the bathroom and, ro and drew on the wall with it. Why? Because he's <laughs> fucking scary. <laughs> Is he scary? He just he put a big turd in his hand and just drew I on the wall. And he signed his name with it, too. I can't, I can't really think of, like... I don't know. 
Anyways, I went to Chicago on my vacation. All right. And I want you to tell me about your vacation because I haven't heard of your vacation. You want, to, you want me to tell you now or after? I'll tell you after mine. Okay. So I saw my girlfriend in Chicago, and Chicago's a lot like New York, only it's more spacier and um, a lot more artsy and in your face with that kind of crap. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, like, just unsincere homeless people that are around. Really? Unlike New York, you feel like, oh, some of them might be homeless. These motherfuckers are, are choreographed homeless bullshit. <laughs> and they, they have, like, all this stuff set up. I was walking by, and there was this one crazy guy who was like, yo, man, I like them shoes, I like them shoes, man. He started going on his story, and he was getting louder and louder the farther he walked back. And I was, like, picking a pace because I was fucking terrified. I thought he was going to turn around and fucking strangle me to death. Yeah. And it's just people like that. Like, there's, like, a guy who's, like, talking and holding newspaper. I thought he was, like, handing out a fucking pamphlet. And so I'm, like, I, like, turn around and look at him, and he... It's like he's cute. He runs up to you and he starts talking about like, oh, we're dying at a homeless shelter. We need food. And I'm just like reaching my pocket. I'm like, fuck, man. But Chicago's nice. And so it's like the Windy City. Mm. It's really weird because some areas are super fucking windy, but some are just not. And it was already like really cold. I left before like huge like snowstorm came, but the Greyhound is the worst bus experience of my entire life. Oh, it's a bus? It's a bus, and it fucking sucks. I rode some bus that s smelt like fucking spicy ham and a little dog shit, because it was like a bus, and it had a bathroom. You started off with, like, something that sounded weird, but also not that bad, and you ended with dog shit. But that's it. I would have rather rode on the bus that smells like shit. The only difference is it doesn't have times you can, like, set up. The Greyhound has this, like, elaborate nonsense with setting up your ticket to get on a fucking over-glorified bus and get in line with, oh, I was on my pre-boarding pass and my boarding pass and my re-boarding pass, all this fucking stupid aughts shit that nobody cares about. <laughs> and, and when you finally get off it, 15 hours later, you realize that was the worst experience of my life. And that bus I took at 5 a.m. that was there in seven hours was way better. Mm. Anyways, that's a completely different story. But yeah, that was that was my vacation. Irish public transport's worse, I guarantee. Tell me. Yeah, you, Irish public transport. Tell Dublin, me. Dublin fucking bus. If you're a tourist, it's fucking ridiculous. No, like, am I am I wrong there now? Am I wrong? No, uh, Dublin bus is like one of the, the worst experiences ever. And like one and all, every I don't care. Okay, name a nice Dublin bus driver. Sorry, you can't. They're all. Well, I can name. I can't name any bus driver. What about, yeah, that's true. What but about? Be, they're all mean. They're all like what pissed about, off. What about Jamil O'Neill? Jamil O'Neill. Shaquille O'Neill. What? Fucking Jamil O'Neill. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> Is that Chris's makes, cousin? All you, all you were thinking about was the, the sonic voice actor and my name. <laughs> That's all that happened there, Corey. You're not tricking anyone. But anyway... <laughs> Corey, who did you say was the voice actor It was the kid in the sixth sense? Julius White. <laughs> Julius? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? No. It's like Haley Joel Osmond, but... <laughs> but... Yeah, Dublin bus, it is, it, it's I shit. say that, people. Okay, so this is how Dublin bus works. You're like, hey, hey there, how do I get to uh, Phoenix Park? And people will be like, uh, get to 46A. And I'm like, where do you get that? And they're like, oh, across the road. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they go oh, like, over at the dock, over at the Yeah, the and you're like, excuse me, where? And yeah, they're yeah. like, okay, bye. And you're like, They like, cool. give you just the name. It's like, you have to go over to the Soda the Harbor. And you're like, oh, what? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm like, where, I don't, I don't fucking that? understand. And they're like, and, and then, and then, you know what really pisses me off? They're like, yeah, you gotta be standing on this side of the road. It's like, how the fuck am I supposed to know this if unless, like, all these people... If you have to, like, hunt down people and be oh, like, yeah. tell me. Tell I, me how to do this. I have a question. This always kind of bothered me. Do you ever be in a situation where someone stops you and asks you for directions and you have no fucking idea about... Yeah, you feel like an idiot? Yeah, yeah. I, I, that happens almost constantly. Like, I'm just walking down the street with someone and they're like, excuse me, do you know where we get to blah, blah, blah? And I'm just like... Dude, I don't even know where the fuck I am. Yeah, and like, they just look thanks. at us like, yeah, oh, okay, thanks, asshole. Yeah. And it's like, you really don't know where the fuck you are. You can't just be like, what's the street? Uh, F Franklin? Um, I think it's like, oh, I, yeah, it's I'm... down that way, because then, like, you never know if they'll come back. Yeah, I remember the stupidest I ever felt was when that happened. Dude, this really nice lady pulled over, and she was mm -hmm. like, do you know how I get over, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like... Oh yeah, and I, I knew, knew where she was talking about. I was like, you go down this road and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. She was like, okay, bye. And I was like, no, I got it wrong, fuck. And she was so nice, so I just wasted all of her time. Yeah. She probably fucking, she, like, she, she, fell, happened, she probably, fell off a ravine yeah. and fucking she's died. She's dead, she's definitely dead. That happened to me, yeah, you let her off a cliff, wolves. dude. Yes. That happened to me once, uh, except it was kind of worse, because I, I, like, I realized halfway through that I told him the wrong direction, but I, I felt too embarrassed to correct myself, so I was like, 
Oh yeah, the the park is over that way, uh, to the left. Yeah. And then uh, they kind of stopped and they're like, okay. And then I had to keep going and adding more direct, like, and then I'm like, you take another left, and I was like, shit. Uh, yeah, but I don't know yeah, anything I else after that. There. That was a bad story. <laughs> uh, I would tell you about my Christmas vacation, but I don't think anything really crazy happened. But I'll try and recall. Nothing crazy happened for me. You fucking saw fucking water races of people. They're water Dude, people. Corey, that's a th th that that is very a, interesting. Not to me. true. <laughs> but what? That nothing interesting happened. Yeah. We spent an hour and a half. They're, they, <laughs> they're different now because here's the thing. Yeah. And it, it, you think it's drugs, but what it is, it's they've. They've, their body is accustomed to the water, mm. and then they started taking this fucking, like, insulin-like drugs, and now their body is, like... It, so they're heroin, and now they're taking methadrone. And they were already taking, like, fucking, like, like, um... What is it? Umbrella water. So they're already, like, changing before your eyes. Well, maybe there's nothing to do in Missouri. They fucking give it, give it a few years, and their heads are gonna split into aliens' heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Well, uh, the only thing I remember happening on my trip to Ireland was the plane ride over, which was the most infuriating one I've ever been on, because I sat next to this dude who wouldn't stop fidgeting. Oh man! And he was a dick. Plane rides. Okay. Oh my. Here's the thing about planes, Corey. Mm-hmm. If you sit on a seat and you want to be left alone, don't fucking wake me up to ask me do I want like fucking pasta or chicken. <laughs> oh, I always want them to wake me up to, to ask It's weird, yeah. Pasta. There is, like, there's people who would like to be waked up and there's yeah. people who want to fucking sleep. Because once you fall asleep on a plane, you're, you're happy. And you just want to wait until you get to your destination before you wake up. And then if, if you wake up early like I did, because that's stupid bitch, then you're no. stuck awake. She was and considerate, that's, Chris. That stupid fucking cunt next that's to me. Stupid he wouldn't stop fidgeting. Fucking... This stupid little bitch behind me wouldn't stop kicking my seat. This stupid fat retard. Oh, you're one of me. those guys who are like fucking. He pushes his seat back all the way. I can't stand. You're that. one of those guys I, who I hears never people chewing shit. from across the room, and I you're like, not. <sighs> No, I don't mind people chewing. I, I do mind fucking kids who won't fucking shut up like a little yeah, okay, kids. dickhead behind kids me. Kids are annoying. They are annoying, but this idiot- I, I can't stand the way they designed the seats to be able to go back like you can like, lie down. So everyone can push their seat back and annoy each other, except for the very guy at the back of the plane who used to sit there with fucking cramped yeah. space. It's stupid. Yeah. No one should be allowed to I do that. I had a bad that. plane experience, but it might sound a little racist. Yeah, go for it. Because me and my girlfriend at the time, we were sitting beside uh, this um, Arab gentleman. Yeah. And, uh... Now watch your... dot your eyes and cues. <laughs> but this guy... What, like, I wouldn't have taken any notice. <laughs> well, okay, look, don't, you're going... Are you going to tell... Are you going to lie to me and tell me that when you go on a plane... No. Yeah. Scout's honor, I've never lied before. Okay. But anyway, so I sat beside this... I sat beside this guy. And uh, he started uh, kind of muttering stuff like he was whispering muttering. in uh, Arabic. Arabic. And you know, to you, you know, like uh, the the liberal in me like looked at him and was like, okay, maybe maybe he's just doing his prayers. But then he started doing kinda, his prayers. Then he started uh, rocking back and forth a little bit, and I kind of that kind of piqued my concern. <laughs> then he started unsheathing his curved sword. <laughs> no, no, but he he was in line for the bathroom. <laughs> He was in line for the bathroom, and don't ask me why there was- Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Guys, you guys are gonna get- Buddy, son, the right. daddy. No, they All right, appreciate so, it. anyway, he was in line for the bathroom, and don't ask me why there was a big red button exposed on the fucking plane. There shouldn't be a big red button exposed <laughs> on the plane. But he was, like, kind the of- The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> there was! He was pressing- like, I saw him, like, kind of fidgeting around There's it, and I was like, two. no, don't press the big There's red button. There's only two types of buttons. There's the call button for the person to come get your stuff, there's a button for no, but this was near. The, the this TV. was when he was in line for the bathroom. Uh, he was in line for the bathroom. This was on the wall, like opposite the door for the bathroom. Why? Was, so he's just like pushing it. No, no, he was like putting his hand all around it and stuff, and like fidgeting with it. And I was, and I, I was like kind of like sweating because he was like, he's gonna press it, isn't he? And going to like, I, I thought, I don't know, it was the ejector seat for everything. <laughs> for I don't know. But then he, uh, he came back to his seat and he he was he was acting so fucking weird. Then he started doing like he writing stuff on piece of paper and stuff, and I was like, okay. And then I- that worried me too, but then I realized, I was like... His like, writing worried you, you fucking racist. But no, but I was writing, he was writing, and I was like, okay, if this plane was going to explode, like... Why would he write stuff? Because it would never, like, survive. His it. will. Yeah, but to his it virgins. Would, yeah, except it would be ash. To That's his true. virgins. true, yeah, go on. Yeah, so I was like, okay, and then, uh, it turned <laughs> out, um... Nothing happened, like, uh, yeah, I guess, Irish story, whatever, but... It scared the absolutely <laughs> living fucking shit out of me. But, no, uh, something did happen. I I understand that. That's that's it is scary. Yeah, well, that was like my only bad experience on I've, a plane. I've, the only bad experience I've ever had on a plane was just sitting next to a kid. That's the worst. You know what really pisses me off on planes? 
What? The fucking pillows. They're too small. And, too and they're non-existent. Chris, they're just like... You were saying when you were a kid how you were like... How come farts like smell like airplane pillows? Because that's what they do. They sit on them and fart, and then they give them back to the people after they're done. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's what they do. They wipe their fucking hands of the pillows and save it for the next guest. Get pink eye. Stink eye, too. <laughs> Stink eye for the pink guy. <laughs> it's not anything. <laughs> I know, sorry. But... Yeah, wait. So we're talking. Did you about ever watch Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? Uh, I hate no. that stupid fucking show. No, but show. what is? I, I, all I imagine is just a bunch of guys going in, going hello, and they're, they're like, they're all no. like, "You are wearing a terrible outfit." Yeah. Oh my god. Let me match you up. That I, there was a time where I just stopped watching MTV. Like I used to watch MTV. There was like this one show where these like celebrities would come in and like redo this guy's and like say like, "Oh yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. give you the best day of your life," and they do a bunch of shit. Mm. I don't remember what that was called, but that was a show I used to watch really early. Early, that was around the time when like Real World came out. Oh yeah, that's Real shit. World came out, so it was like the start of that. And then you tune in now, it's like I don't watch like these fucking Jersey Shore and all these terrible shows and shit. Yeah, yeah, but they were just remember Made MTV Made. Mm -mm. No, there was this show called Made, and like it would just be this fat loser in school, and he'd be like. I want to be a, a wrestler, <laughs> and then and then this guy like real like Hulk Hogan comes in. He's like, I'm going to teach you how to be a wrestler. That's what I'm talking about. These celebrities would come and like do something for him. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, I, I want to meet like Christian Bale, and Christian Bale would come in. And yeah, be except like, no, no, he, no. But the kid would be like, I want to be Batman, and then like uh, Christian Bale would come over and be like, this is how you be Batman. Yeah, like, exactly. The, kid, I, the poor kid will never ever. You know, exactly. Ever. It's a joke. It's to make fun of like fucking Tubby Tommy and show. Yeah, they, that's like what it's asshole. for. It's for to laugh at them because it shows them on the treadmill, and then the personal trainer's like, run, Tubby, and the guy's like, I can't do it anymore, and they. Show and they try to make drama and stuff, and <laughs> they try to make genre. It literally is just to let them laugh at him. You know what really pissed me off once? What? One time, my sister was watching uh, Super Sweet 16, but now I'll make you really pissed off, anyways, because of how fucking retarded these people are. But there was a part in the show where it was like the girl was having her Super Sweet 16, right? Yeah, and then um, it showed these this, this bunch of nerds outside, and they're trying to get in. And you're like, You fucking nerds, what are you trying to get in there for? But then when the nerd tries getting in, he runs and a bouncer pushes him away. But then what really pissed me off was instead of playing like a war war war, it got a sound effect from The Sims of when The Sims to piss their pants, and it plays this like musical like right. But except they left in the pissing sound effect. What? They just left it in like you could hear like water splashing Chris, on the floor. I can I can hear your autism in my ears. <laughs> no, right I'm, like you're fucking severe. Why aughts. wouldn't they at least <laughs> cut out the end? They How did you know that it was a piss sim sound? Because I played The Sims constantly. When Let I was me younger. tell you something. When you were The Sims, um, like because when I played The Sims. Did you ever do that, like, fisheye code? A fisheye cheat? Where you could, like, see through yeah. Sim's eyes? Oh, oh, that must have been on the PS2 version, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I was always trying to, like, see through the I had the scenes. Sims, the Sims living it up, the Sims house party, the Sims... Nightlife. I didn't have that one. Oh. We should talk about something that's not the Sims now. Hey, Corey, remember that time you told us about, uh, the Power Rangers kid? The Power Rangers kid. Yeah. Talk, uh, can you talk about that to end this podcast? Yeah. Because I guess people ask about that. I don't know if I left on a high note, and kept the kept the cliffhanger rolling, <laughs> jumped the shark at that moment. I like the story. Um, basically, we knew this kid next door who always wanted to like hang out with us, and we were like too cool for school. We we're playing DBZ and, and like laughing it up, and he would be like, "Hey, I like the Power Rangers." We we're like, "Yeah, I grew out of that idiot." So we didn't. We were jumping on a trampoline, shooting our Kamehameha as being cool, and he'd come over in his fucking like Power Rangers tidy whities all the time, yeah. and he would like try and jump on us and be like, "I'm the Red Ranger," and we'd fucking like kick him in the forehead and <laughs> knock his stupid ass into the dog den. The dog would come all over him. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> why even say that? Go on, Corey. Go on. Finish your story. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Corey? <laughs> I'm just remembering us doing <laughs> Just fucking kicking his stupid ass off the fucking trampoline into the dog hole. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, we went over there once, and he was... He, we went over there once, um, um, me and my friend Dylan, and he was, like, doing, like, a... <laughs> He pulled his shirt over his head and he fucking pulled his pants down and he did a Power Rangers dance completely naked <laughs> with his like fucking eight year old dick hanging out. <laughs> and you know like, <laughs> And then we were like, gross, you're gay. And then we ran home and 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 we had popsicles. But Dylan took the last fucking popsicle I wanted, so I was stuck with that's what I remember. 
I forgot about the dick part, and I was so mad that that fucking Dylan took the, stra- the fucking strawberry popsicle, and I had to be stuck with shitty grape. And that motherfucker, I for completely forgot about it. I remember like he was doing like some like YMCA dance with his fucking shirt over his head and his dick hanging out. That's but I more thing remember you the popsicle do. thing. You remember more about the popsicles than you do about the baby dick. Because that was the last time I had cherry popsicles in a while. I hate cherry. <laughs> Well, this has been Sleepy Cast. Uh, uh, Chris, Nile, Corey, say bye. What kind of ending is that? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Well, this was. No. <laughs> well, this is the end of Sleepy Cast. So let's let's let Sleepy Cast. Tune in next time for the Q and A. Corey's basket. I'm Christopher O'Neill, and I'm Nile. A dick face. And that's it. Oh. Rodeo brand paper towels for Massachusetts' biggest Texas. <laughs>